and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And forgive me if you think that I'm completely and totally nuts when you hear what we're going to be talking about today. But today we are going to be talking about the color orange. I know you think I'm completely nuts, but I think it's something that um, is kind of interesting because it has kind of an unusual history. Orange, you think of the happiness and warmth and the sun and all kinds of cool things. It's energy, it's warmth. It's got so many different connotations, like culturally it was associated with royalty and also it's also a symbol of danger in nature, kind of like the color red is. So it's a visual signal to, to predators to kind of stay away because I might be poisonous and you don't want to eat me kind of deal. Um, but orange is such kind of like a powerhouse color. But because of that, a lot of artists steer clear of it. There are those that don't and are completely unafraid, like Skip Lawrence, for instance. He uses a lot of orange in his stuff right out of the tube. But there are so many people that just don't really even um, use it or use it very, very sparingly. But orange has such an interesting history. The color orange itself um, really actually, and I could, can't even believe this, but it didn't even have its own name until around the 16th century. All of the oranges, be it yellow orange or you know red orange, were kind of referred to as like an overarching family um, in association with saffron. So that whole color variety was just called saffron because like that's what everybody knew, you know, was kind of orange. Food's always one of those visceral connections when you're talking about a specific color. You say a food and they go, oh yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. But so the whole family of oranges were just called saffron up until the 16th century when traders actually brought the actual fruit from Asia into Europe. And then the Europeans were just like, oh, it's an orange. So then it's orange. And so then the color stopped being this whole like wide breadth of color and, and orange became its own thing. But orange on your palette didn't ex exist exclusively um, until like the 1800s when chrome orange um, came into existence because orange only existed as a secondary that was mixed from a given red and a given yellow in a mixture. But when chrome orange came around, orange is a presence, it's a powerhouse. So think about incorporating more orange into your work. It is a just total hit in the face with some color. Um, people respond to it. It's very, very visceral and it has so many meanings. It's kind of like an instant gratification. So think about orange. It's one of those forgotten, but really, really wonderful colors. And make sure to use more orange today and enjoy.